my god, oh 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 my god. Big thanks to Loopboy for sponsoring today's video. Loopboy is completely free to download and available on all apps, including your PC with over 15 million users and 4.6 star rating on Google Play, entertaining new comments released weekly and free loot packs for us gamers. You can buy Summoner Rift loot packs on Loopboy with either the website's currencies, diamonds, which you can earn for free by completing small tasks, or you can just buy them like I did with real money. I ain't got time for that. But once you open these premium loot packs, you have the chance to win $5 worth of RP all the way up to $100 per pack. And you can also win a bunch of awesome A-list games on Steam too. Today I'm going to be opening the 10 packs that I purchased and I'll show you what I got. By the way, all these RP cards are usable globally, so if you see any on the screen, feel free to yoink them. First in, first serve. These packs cost 349 euros each for two packs or 125 diamonds for one pack. Hey, I wanted that game. Oh my god. I ended up getting a bunch of A-list games, but this one in particular, as you can see, it was on my wish list, so pretty happy with that one. Also, if you want to find someone to play with you, you can use the chat radar to find someone by selecting your playstyle in games. Check out Loot Boy in the description. You can use the code High Yellow Cockroach. This will give you a free community loot pack with diamonds, loot coins, and many more. I got it. This is a really interesting spot here. It looks like I'm tunneling hard on the Nunu, but I'm actually focusing on the map. I know mid is missing and I know Bard is incoming. Watch my positioning. I've positioned furthest away from the Bard. I know the Nunu can't come in to attack me, so it's gonna end up being a 1v1 with the Bard. If I go too close to this wall, he's gonna stun me. So the best option is to stun him, use the Glacial and then run away and then try and annoy the Nunu some more. Tell me where else you're gonna see all this fucking action before the clock even strikes four minutes. Nowhere! Subscribe! Subscribe now!
Because I anticipate the enemy ADC to not expect me to come straight back to lane, I've decided that it'd be best to not even show myself and I was going to path around the Kaiser. But we've given Tristana such a lead that she can just 1v1 the Kaiser without my help. Exact same tactic here. You see how I walk straight down the lane, straight south. It makes it look like there's no one there. There's no invisible twitch. Kaiser comes forwards. He gets punished. If I walk straight to the Kaiser, he immediately backs off. No kill, no gold, no victory. It's these small little things that are the difference between a good player and an average player. You just watch me intentionally sacrifice myself under that tower, happy to die, give my AD carry, well, my Twitch carry the gold, and then I immediately teleport bot. They're not going to be expecting me bottom, are they? Because they just saw me top, and I do the exact same thing. Bot, happy to suicide down here too. It's pretty insane how strong the strategy can be, right? Without context, this Kale clip isn't even that cool, but in this game, the enemy Ash was hyper-fed. Look at the scoreline, they are significantly ahead. So me zoning him out of the fight and then protecting my carry with my ult, it's a pretty big deal, but I don't know what to be able to say.
this level, bitches, tell Torella. 